Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode here at The Design Cure. What we're going to be talking about today is this, leveraging Kuhome's custom lighting scenarios. Um, if you guys haven't used Kuhome yet, it's an amazing tool, great for e-design. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, guys, so welcome back. Now, here's the issue. If you've used Kuhon before, you might be noticing a bit of an issue where you're using their default lights, but you're finding situations where you really want to kind of customize the lighting scenario. Maybe it's not coming out how you pictured it to be. Maybe the models that you're bringing in don't have their own lights attached to them and you need to add those. Well, if you watch this tutorial, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to walk you through how to position lights uh, also how to create lights and then how to save out lighting scenarios that you can use over and over into the future So it's a pretty powerful tutorial here today now before you begin I want to remind you that there is a free mega course over at the that will walk you through Everything you need to know about this Kuhon platform um, And how to do a lot of different things to make sure that you can crush it as an e-designer inside of this platform Okay, we love this one So if you like what you're learning here today, head on over to the design care and let's get you signed up for this free course. Otherwise, I will see you inside this tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to be diving into the custom lighting inside of Kuhome. Now, before we start, I just wanted to show you that I'm going to be opening up a template that is directly from our platform called eDesign 3D. If you haven't uh, joined us yet, check out eDesign 3D at uh, www.thedesigncare.com. And you can get signed up with us and you can you can follow along with our templates okay so i'm just going to go into my templates here and uh what we can do at this point is go into the custom lighting before uh template okay so i'm going to choose this one this is what happens after and this is before okay it gives you a little bit of a glimpse of what we're going to be learning here so i'm going to go in here so i'll just uh double click on this one all right, so here we go. Now at this point, all we have is a basic room setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a model. So I'm going to go to my account and I saved one of my favorite models. If you're looking for this one, uh, let's just take a look at what it's called. I'll dive in here and uh, you can search for it inside the model library. Uh, it's this one or you can bring in your own. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point, but uh, I'm going to jump in here and I'm just going to drag this into position right there cool so next thing uh, I want to add some canned lighting fixtures around the top all right so I'm gonna go back to the model library and at this point I'm just gonna go to lighting and let's go to down lights and let's pick this one right here and I'm just gonna start placing them kind of randomly I don't know maybe just along this area here there's one we'll duplicate that and move it over here. You know, they just don't have to be too close together. We'll duplicate that one. And again, maybe we can squeeze three along here just so we have a nice bright bar. And then let's duplicate this one and drag it across here. Whoops, that one got a little bit messed up it's all right and duplicate again and let's just do one more for good fun and make it symmetrical all the way to the end or symmetrical I don't know if that's symmetrical but you know what I mean it lines up it looks good so let's keep moving forward now and let's just jump over to 3d see what we got going on here okay so pretty basic setup you know if i were going to go further i'd probably add some dining room stuff in here but uh, let's just dive right in and start customizing the lighting scenario so i'm going to go into render okay now if i come over here to the right and then just scroll down a bit i should have a saved angle and you should be able to see this if you're in one of my templates okay so let's click here and there we go the camera's nice and set up ready to go I might increase the FOV a little bit so that we get a bit of a wider look. Okay. 
And then let's just scoot this way a bit. I don't care too much about seeing that hallway. And we'll just zoom in a little bit. I'm going to save that current angle. All right, so we are primed and ready to go to do some lighting, guys. So let's go over here on the left, and you can see that by default, I have this natural lighting setup. Uh, I'm at standard, and my outdoor scene is this night scene here. So this is all default, um, and let's just see how that, that looks, okay? I'm going to hit render. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to come over here to the left, and I'm going to start customizing the lighting scenario. All right, so we're going to go to this button right here. We're going to go to Customize. And it's going to say, what do you want to kind of work from, right? So I'm going to pick just this natural night uh, scene. And we're going to rename this in a little bit. For some reason, it doesn't work too well in this setting. Uh, I'm going to hit Confirm. And that's going to open up the custom lighting scenario. So inside of here, you can kind of see that we have a whole bunch of lights that are already set up. You can see that the canned lights that we brought in are actually bringing in their own lights, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, what we don't want, and I'll sh we'll take a look at this render that I just did. Um, these big lights up here are going to make this room very bright. Now, I want to go for more of like a romantic kind of setting. Um, so. So I'm going to show you how we're going to kind of adjust this. But for now, let's go ahead and jump back and see what the old render looked like. All right, so let's take a look at the gallery and we'll just see what we got. So that looks really nice, you know, not bad at all, but I would not call this lighting a romantic kind of setting. It's very bright, not the kind of situation where you want to have like a candlelight dinner. It just doesn't really give off that feeling. So I want to present that feeling and I'm going to go back in and now adjust the lighting scenario. Okay, so let's go back to that custom light section and you can see over here on the left when I exited out of the custom light section, it saved it for me it's still under the default name. So if I just click into that, I can go back into the lighting scenario. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to rename it. Okay, so let's just call this new lighting. All right, so let's save on that one we are successfully saved and now I just want to show you around a little bit there's a lot of default stuff in we in here we could do we could uh, you know and it, it might help us out get to where we want to go but it probably won't be perfect so I'm gonna start over fresh and I'm just gonna create my own lighting scenario so I'm gonna start editing what we have here let's go into 2d view and I'm just gonna select all the lights I'm gonna hold shift if I can Let's see, might have to do this a little bit more one at a time. And I'm going to turn them off over here in status. Okay, this one, hold shift. Just do two at a time. This one, shift. And just everything, even outdoor lights, I'm going to turn off. Okay, even this one see what happens if we even go that far okay cool so let's now go back to 3d all right and we're going to do a little preview and see what this is looking like just with these can lights left all right so let's go hit preview and so what we've done at this point is remove all the default lights and we are now just acting on using our existing lights okay or our custom lights all right, so let's take a look at that. Not bad. So that's definitely more along the lines of what I'm going for, okay? So we just have the lights that we added working with us. All right, so not bad at all, right? Now, I just wanted to show you a little bit uh, over here what we're working with. Let's get this thing out of the way. So over here we have sunlight, uh, you know, we have that off currently. We have a bunch of basic lights. Now these can be in the background kind of lighting areas up like behind the camera. These are really good for that. Uh, these basic lights here. Uh, then we have volumetric lights. So these are kind of, you know, could could be interesting if you, you want to get a little more creative. Uh, and then we have down here, we have a more of a private collection of different um, spotlights and, and that kind of thing of down lights. Uh, so these can be really great for like artwork and that kind of thing. So maybe we could put some art here and we can go a lot further with this. But for now, I'm just going to kind of uh, work with what we have going on here. And like, again, like I said, I think we're we're feeling a lot more along in the lines of what I wanted to create here for you guys. 
Um, now, if I did want to go into these lights here, you'll notice that over here on the right, we have options for, uh, you know, making them different colors. Like if I wanted it to be, and you know, these lights are actually coming in really perfect. So I don't, you know, we could, we could go over more uh, white look, but I, I really like that kind of uh, that sexy, uh, you know, kind of warmer touch there. So let's, uh, let's forget about that. And then, um, you know, you got your temperature settings. We could go this way with it. If we didn't want to pick a specific color, we could just kind of uh, go with temperature. You can control the brightness. Like if, like if we brighten this one up a bit more, might be able to see a bit of a difference there. And we could also do some angling, right? So if you had, for instance, if you had a, uh, a light that was needed to face the wall, you could grab on this little guy right here and kind of tilt it to the direction you needed that uh, light to be shining. And that'd be a great way to light up a painting or something that was on the wall. Um, you can also adjust how low it is in the ceiling as well as the front angle. Okay, and that's what we were just playing with there. Um, cool, well that's pretty much it guys. It's pretty straightforward. Now let's see what happens uh, when we when we go in and render this for real. Okay, now now that I'm back in the render, let's see what we have here. So you can see that right here is my temp, my default or my, my new template, which is the uh, new lighting. And we could even remove, I think I did a couple tests earlier to make sure I wasn't wasting your time. Uh, but yeah, so at this point we have the uh, new lighting. All right, guys. Well, let's see what that ends up looking like. I'm going to hit render. All right. So now that that render's done, let's go ahead and take a look. And there we go. That's much more along the lines of what I was going for. It's got that nice cool to warm fade across there. It's a beautiful, beautiful image there. Um, so let's see what the previous was and now the current. So you can see it, how quickly you can customize the look. All right, guys, so hopefully you're feeling weaponized with lighting now that you've gone through that tutorial. Okay, so at this point, you should know how to position lights, how to create lights, as well as how to set up lights for the future, uh, for future use, okay? Now, don't forget, head over to the free uh, course that we offer that's going to teach you how to take this whole software to the next level. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for another exciting tutorial here at The Design Cure, and I will see you next time.